Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> this is the Everhearth Inn. Today, we are going to be going over kind of how we set up the set. So we've made 131 short form videos on TikTok, Reels, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. 200,000 plus followers. So we know a little bit of what we're doing, but we're still learning a whole lot. And this is gonna be kind of a compilation of what we've built, recommendations of how you can build something similar for your own usage, general tips on getting started in the, into the short form realm, that type of stuff. Or long form. This works as a YouTube background too, so. What you're watching right now. To start is the people behind and in front of the camera. We have Chloe, who's typically in front of the camera doing all the cooking and the, the good looking stuff, and Drew the gremlin behind the camera. And this is a huge helpful thing because Having a second person there to make sure that the shot is lined up correctly and the recording is running and you're actually capturing everything is pretty huge. So to start, um, the design of the set initially was, um, I drew it up on like a, a, my iPad pretty much. I took a picture of the wall and then drew it up on what we thought would look good. As you can see, this is the set. I like the asymmetry of this because um, you have the shelves on this side and you have more of a blank canvas on this side. That's just me liking the asymmetry, but you know, whatever works for your, your set. So to start with the wallpaper, this is a renter's friendly wallpaper. I think it's like a vinyl stone wallpaper. It was very easy to put on. It seems like it's gonna be really easy to take off. I have not taken it off yet though, so. Don't quote me on that. It may or may not easily come off of this wall. So yeah, it was like we got, I think we got three rolls on Amazon and we'll have affiliate links to whatever I can find on Amazon or wherever I bought it in the description below. All right, moving on to the lights. This was another thing I got on Amazon. It was only the branches were on Amazon and then I added a bunch of fake leaves and vines that I just had sitting around from other craft projects. I just, I stuck the branches up with little command strips, which don't really like to stay on the wall, but sometimes I just push them on, push them down whenever, uh, whenever I see that they're coming up a bit, but it gets the job done. No one's gonna be able to tell on camera. I really like it. We get a lot of compliments on it. So ever since my D&D map making tabletop sim days, I've been kind of addicted to accent lighting. Uh, and thus the torches. We found these uh, also on Amazon. They have a cool little flickery effect. We found at uh, some like home goods or something the, the goblety looking base for the, the actual LED lights. Also to note, we use these LED light sconces for ambient lighting in some of our TikToks. So we'll set one of these lights close to the food so you get like a flickering effect when we have close ups of something. Then we have these little light up candles. They're kind of dying right now. We need to replace um, the batteries. Gotta replace the batteries. To finish off on the lighting, we also have this really powerful LED brick light right next to you uh, that is super useful, super diverse. It has a huge range of RGB color settings. You could also set it into a mode that does different kind of ambient color warmth levels, which is really useful. And so we have this set on a kind of an orangey warm tint that helps accent the taverny vibes and the torches and stuff. And then we have a few little gifts from our, our lovely patrons at the end. Uh, we have Everharthin the mug over there, which is a cool beer scented candle. We have this cool rules of this tavern, uh, old medieval rule sheet. We bought this little mushroom dude from an Etsy store of a patron of ours. If you'd like to contribute to our shelves, we kind of rotate them in. We have a PO box on our website if you'd like to send stuff our way. We also have a couple potions, just various bottles with uh, little fake plants shoved in them. Drew got those for, for me as a gift like five or six years ago. A couple other things I stole from my mom, not stole, but she gave them to me, including like these chests, um, this yellow bowl, uh, this glass, jar with a pheasant on it, this little bucket thing full, filled with wood. Yeah, I think that that's about all that I stole from her, slash she gave me. And then this little fake flower thing, I'm pretty sure I got that at Home Depot. I think we were looking for, I forget, I think we were looking for something for this table and I found some fake flowers at the Home Depot. There's also a couple little other et cetera items that I've gathered from gifts from people throughout the years. And then, ooh, this 
This uh, this dagger. This dagger is. It's a little thing. You do you want to tell the story? Because you know how you got it. So this is a foam, not real dagger. Uh, that we got when I was proposing to her. We did a whole Geralt of Rivia and Yennefer to style quest at C2E2 in Chicago a few years ago, where she had to go to a few different stalls and find different magical items uh, to eventually fight the djinn to complete their love story. These shelves, I'm pretty sure I got these shelves at Home Depot. Um, same with the brackets, the wall brackets. We do have the shelves sitting lower than normal. So as you can see, like my head will run into them. If I were just mounting shelves for my apartment, I would have them above head height to avoid running into them um, because we do run into these quite a bit. But for recording, they kind of need to be a bit lower because you kind of want, you know, your- Otherwise it'd be too high. You wouldn't, you wouldn't see, it. see them. Why don't you tell them about this table? Aha, so this table is made from scratch. It's not very good because I'm not a woodworker. We went to Home Depot. I got some big wooden planks cut. I glued it together with wood glue and some like metal brackets underneath it and just kind of screwed those in, put some little feet on it so it slides around. And now we just like use it as our like tavern table. I think a big reason that we did this is if you think of the typical like tavern bar height, Bars are higher than a typical dining table. We're on a dining table, so we had to elevate it somewhat. We wanted to give it a rustic woodsy look too, so this was our solution. So other than what you can see here and the light that's behind you, the last types of equipment that we have are our phones, which is the main camera, and then uh, we have various sorts of stands and stuff that will hold our lights. The, the phone is mounted to this kind of adjustable claw arm thing, which is really nice. Um, Having an adjustable, movable arm situation is really nice for uh, the flexibility to quickly move to different shots. Mm -hmm. If you have something that's very manual and you have to pick it up and move it and rearm it and everything, it's it's a nightmare. I suggest doing something that's kind of spring-loaded and you can move it freely. Uh, that's been huge. Also, the arm holding the phone is on a separate structure from this table. It's not directly connected to the table. If it's connected to the table, any booms are going to vibrate up into the phone and sound awful. So in general, we highly recommend having some form of permanent set if you are doing recording um, regularly. You want to be consistent. Yeah, we used to have a temporary set that we would just set up in our kitchen whenever we wanted to record, but the setup time for that was not fun. <laughs> and it was just was something we had to do all the time. Um, and we were just really wanting to have a more permanent setup that we can just you know, get dressed and then start filming. So that was our set. Let us know if you guys liked this, if you'd want us to do more of this type of content. We could talk about recording techniques, general concepts, that type of stuff. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, whether or not you like the video. Just give us a like. Just like it. <laughs> yeah, just like, just Please. do it. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see you next time. <laughs>